they are losers, and there is little to suggest that their lives will become good. A boy from San Francisco, who is fleeing from his own father and waging a lonely battle against the corporations of Silicon Valley. A girl from Colombia, who suffers from the sins of her parents and cannot decide where her place in the world should be. A boy from Berlin, who knows the entire starry sky by heart, but has not a single friend apart from his computer. A boy from the Congo, who has lost his family and now, far away from home, can no longer sleep peacefully in a single night. A girl from Tokyo, who locks herself in her room and never wants to leave it, because the outside is hurting her too much. A boy from Australia, who is a master at insulting others, and who wishes back the time when he was not in a wheelchair. For a long time, they are just six tiny points on six huge continents, hardly noticed, thousands of kilometers between them. But then they get to know each other, and they begin to shine. Each of them has skills that, on their own, don't mean that much. But when they unite them, they succeed in a task that they probably would not even have believed themselves capable of. They bring things to light that were previously hidden, and nobody knows or even suspects that they are responsible for it. But then they mess with people who are too dangerous for that, who have a lot of power, and who never forgive anything. It was my job to catch the six, and it was a job entirely to my liking. I was able to show that I am the best, that I can get anyone, anyone I want. But then I got to know one of the six, and that changed everything. The whole matter got out of hand. Things happened that should never have happened. The wind that the six had kindled turned into a perfect storm that blew all around the world. Everyone got to know the six now, and me. Our faces were everywhere, on every newspaper and on every TV program. The storm didn't want to end anymore, and if you listen very carefully, it's still raging today. 